Experts say Lake Powell has something like 3,000 miles of shoreline. But don't think the awe and splendor ends here at the Glen Canyon Dam that created the lake. This is a nice, calm, smooth water float through here. Lots of beautiful things you can see. Welcome to the other side of the dam and the rest of the Colorado River. Corey Seiler is a guide with Colorado River Discovery, a rafting tour company. And while this isn't the churning white water, Corey says it's not always mellow either. This canyon is constantly eroding. Uh, there's, there's all kinds of uh, things, rocks falling off here that are eroding this canyon away. And in fact, you know, a few times a year, we've seen some pretty big rock falls down here and they sound like a thunderous boom, like muskets going off sometimes. Uh, and I like to tell people this whole place is falling apart. These kids are here on a school field trip. They're hitting the beach at a very special spot. A short hike up the beach is this spot, where the blackened talus stone is marked with stories and mystery. That's kind of a life and death scene. So as we're looking at it, it's facing east in this direction. It's also got an atelier or a spear basically in its back and it looked like it's been pecked out there down there, which means that, that there has been a kill that has been made. The ages on here are probably from 700 years to about 2,500 years old. The ancestral Bablones were actually in the region from about 1,000 years ago to about 3,000 years ago. Petroglyphs, rock art, thought to be made by ancient Native Americans. Periodic floods on the river will dump or remove sand and reveal even more. Just came into view about 17 years ago. So those are fresh and were, were there stored underground and they're incredibly detailed. You know, if you think, it would be really difficult to get down on your belly and actually carve those into the rock there. Um, so that probably, when they carved it, was up at about chest level. The things you will see on the upper Colorado River can change depending on the time of day, even the time of year you take this ride. Hot days have some riders eager for a swim. So Corey has this warning about the one thing that never changes here. The water comes out of the dam at a consistent 48 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's, it's chilly. It'll be the quickest swim you ever take in your life, that's for sure.